Satisfy your cravings with this pillowy perfect pastry. Hey you guys, I have a super fluffy and delicious recipe for you today, just in time for Valentine's Day. Join me in this video as I share my recipe for mini pink cinnamon rolls. Each of these mini rolls are in their own little cupcake cups, making them perfect for parties. This recipe is actually very easy to make and you will see how I get these to be pillowy soft. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I post new videos every single week. So without further delay, let's dive into this swoon-worthy Valentine's Day treat. So I'm going to start off by activating the yeast. So I'm just going to warm up half a cup of milk on a stove top in medium high heat for about one to two minutes until it's really warm to the touch. We only want this to reach around 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So pour it in a bowl and if you have it, use a thermometer to check the temperature. Mix in the yeast and let it activate. It should take five to 10 minutes and it should lightly bubble up like this. Okay, so now we're going to make a very simple paste that will be added to the dough. Using the same pot the milk was heated up on, add the paste ingredients, which are whole milk, hot water, and bread flour. Heat these ingredients in medium high heat and whisk until a paste forms. This is an Asian bread technique that will give these cinnamon rolls that pillowy texture. Mix until most of the lumps are gone and set that aside. Now we're going to make the dough. I'm using a stand mixer because I'd rather have it do the kneading later on. So you're going to add the activated yeast, the paste, sugar, egg, melted butter, and salt. Mix on low until just combined. Now you're going to take the bread flour and add it in three stages, mixing until just combined after each addition. Once everything comes together, switch to the dough hook. This is when you're going to add a few drops of food coloring and you're going to knead this for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, place the ball of dough on a lightly greased bowl. I used olive oil here. Cover it with a towel and keep it in a warm, dry place. I like to preheat my oven to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, turn it off and place the bowl inside with the oven door slightly open. After one hour, it's time to roll the dough. Deflate it with a light punch and on a floured surface, you're going to do your best to shape it into a rectangle. It doesn't have to be perfect and mine is actually about 22 by 10 inches. So to this, you're going to spread a thick layer of softened butter, not melted, evenly over the top of the dough. Mix the brown sugar and cinnamon filling in a bowl and sprinkle it evenly on top of the butter and pat it down so it sticks. Tightly roll the dough and secure the ends with a little bit of water. Now it's time to cut these into mini rolls. I'm using a knife, but if you have some kitchen twine or unflavored dental floss, go ahead and use that. While you're cutting, ensure the thickness of each roll isn't more than one inch. Place each roll in a cupcake liner and cover it up. But I also wanted to show you an option where you can add them to a separate pan to make more traditional cinnamon rolls. So I've added these bigger ones onto this pan. Let these proof for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so while that's proofing, I'm going to quickly make the icing. In a medium sized bowl, cream one stick of softened butter for two minutes. Add the powdered sugar in three stages, mixing in between until just combined. Add the vanilla and also add one teaspoon of milk or heavy cream at a time until you get your desired consistency. Cover it with plastic wrap, ensuring the plastic touches the top of the frosting because it will form a thin crust on top if it's exposed to air. Okay, so back to the rolls. These have risen a little bit, so you're going to add a bit of warm, heavy cream, about half a teaspoon over each one. And you're going to bake these for 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll see that the middle part has risen a bit, so what you can do is gently press on it if you like. So this is what they look like unfrosted. Look at that beautiful pink swirl. I think they look so cute in these pink cupcake cups too. So I'm going to add a little icing onto each one while they are still a little warm. Keep in mind the frosting will melt a little if they are warm, but I do prefer that melted icing look. I'm going to add some pink, gold, and red sprinkles just to really exaggerate that Valentine's Day look. 
Let me tell you guys, these are so bouncy and buttery soft. You can elevate your Valentine's Day morning with these. The aroma is just magical. Perfect for pastry lovers like myself. I hope this video inspires you to make this dessert. Let me know in the comments if you give this a try. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.